And we are back at it with the Ice Cream Donut Podcast. Right back at it. And now you can see us. You can see us, hear us. If you, you Actually, if you're on the Spotify and <laughs> Apple Podcast, you can't see us. No. But you can't. can hear us, our angel-like voices right now. Angels. I'm below Dirt. And I'm Melody K. And this is the Ice Cream Donut Podcast. Yay. And you can probably hear the cat in the background <laughs> getting real fucking hammer on her scratching post. Yep. Because if she wants attention, she will get it. <laughs> yeah. She really will. Anyway, just going to say real quick, we're going to make a vlog here soon about a new Krispy Kreme that has moved right on into town. Westchester. So shout out to Westchester. Shout out to Krispy Kreme and their key lime pie fucking donuts. I also want the lemon donuts. Bring them back. Anyway, we got some like shit lemon. to talk about. huh? I'm not a big fan of lemon. Well, I am. Sometimes it can taste like shampoo. Like, you know what? That, how you said uh, coconut? We had coconut uh, Red Bull. Coconut Berry that Red Bull. That does not taste like shampoo. That shit tastes like shampoo. No. It does. It's A lot of Mountain tripping. Dews that they come out with taste like shampoo as well. Do you be eating shampoo? I mean, I think we've all <laughs> accidentally tried shampoo once or twice. <laughs> I certainly have. So, I know that's a fact. <laughs> Anyway, this is Ice Cream Donut Podcast. <laughs> we talk about eating shampoo. We, we talk about anything and everything we fucking want. <laughs> Melody K is out here. Got below dirt drinking wine. Oh. I'm feeling real regal. Let's cheers. Cheers to, to, the, to episode 11. Episode 11. Ice Cream Donuts. Sipping wine. Yeah, the Ice Cream Donut Podcast. That's what it's called. <laughs> not the ice cream, cream donuts. donuts well you should have made it donuts no <laughs> dang it i've been trying to explain this <laughs> anyway what were we talking about today melody k you got a little list over there we were talking oh. some good stuff in the car <laughs> and you told me we were talking a lot of good it. stuff in the car um basically the first thing was people getting offended by what other people say to them yeah or just what people say in general they could just be talking that you can put a facebook post online and somebody will read it and they'll be like that's about me why are you posting that right did you put are you mad at me you know what i mean like i back in the day when i would post stuff, i had to tell my mom like look I have been on this earth for how many years? I relate to a lot of shit. If I post something, it's because I fucking relate to it. Right. Not because, I mean, sometimes, yeah, if I'm feeling some type of way, I'll post something. You know what I mean? But half the time, it's just because I post it. Right. You know? Uh-huh. So what do you think? I think that it just goes hand in hand with, um, it's kind of Facebook. So if you put something out there, you need to expect anything. Yeah. Well, yeah it's a double. It, it, it goes both ways. You're going to be like, well, it's my Facebook. Not you, but people are going to be like, oh, it's my Facebook. I'll post what I want. It don't mean that I mean that. It, well, it don't mean that you don't mean that either. And people, you got to understand, people don't give a fuck. Half the people are going to get offended. Yeah. And then half the other people, not half, but a quarter of the motherfuckers, 10% whatever are going to be just annoying. Yeah. Act like people ain't annoying as hell. You can post something and people won't give a damn. If you're talking about Facebook, people don't yeah. give a damn if they really relate to it or not. They'll just, you gave them some, something to bitch about. A reason to have something to say. Exactly. That's just like in real life. Fuck the social medias. People mm-hmm. in real life, you say something or you believe a certain way and people get offended by that. Yep. It's like everybody is allowed to have their personal opinions, and yep. you guys should still be able to be cool. Mm-hmm. Just like me and you, we don't agree on everything. Nope. Not at all. Sure and don't. there have been many times where I've gotten offended by what you've said to me, or you've gotten offended by what I've said to you. Mm-hmm. But you grow. You learn not to take what people say personally. Right. You know? Yeah. And sure. it seems like a lot of people don't want to grow. They just want to just, you cannot take shit personal. Well, it's to a degree. You can't, you can't be like, say some super offensive things and then expect someone not to take it 
personal or be offended. No, but it's just like random shit. Yeah, and that's, you know, like that goes with what you said. It's not you could post something and then like somebody, like your, even your mom or whoever will be like, are you okay? And it'll be like, yeah. Like I post something, that, I post shit that's kind of off sometimes. People be like, what the fuck? People probably and think I'm that. the weird, and if you don't know me, I'm fucking weird. But it's me. It's what mm-hmm. I like to do. It's what I like to say. I don't give a fuck. So, and then, you know what I mean? People are going to fucking think or do whatever anyway. So who cares? Just be you and do what the fuck you do. Yeah. So be offended if you want. There you go. Check that off the list. Because, like, be offended. Don't be offended. Either way, someone's going to say something you don't like. People are going to think how they want to think regardless. You can't change their mind. And that's another thing that we were talking about. How you can think differently than how you think already yeah if you're you presented know? new information you're allowed to act and or think differently mm-hmm. like i love i mean it's a it's a weird feeling but i love when i um feel a certain way or i say something and then one of my buddies or something will give me a different perspective on things i'll be like it don't matter what it is whether it's a job whether it's this or that it does not matter a lot of times you just don't see all the angles. That's something we posted. I mean, posted. Yeah, we wrote you don't as well. See it from every aspect. You got, yeah, you got to look at everything from everybody's angle. You can't just look at it from a selfish, my own point of view, and then be like, "Oh, I'm just rocking with this opinion the rest of my life, or this viewpoint the rest of my life." And you can do that. People can do that, but I think you're not living a full life for real. Like people, like let's. For instance, there's people out there who are raised to would like hate or raised just because someone's different or whatever. They, you know what I mean? They don't like them and shit. And it's just like, let's say you, your dad is a racist piece of shit or something. You're allowed to not be that way. You're allowed yeah. to, you know what I mean? Let some go out into the world and meet different people and realize everything that good old daddy cletus or whatever the fuck said (laughs) isn't always right you know what i mean like yeah and that happens quite often uh, very often because you're brought up how your parents want to bring you up yeah and then you get out into the real world and you're like well not everyone thinks this way right exactly it's just like that was me yeah yeah i mean you know my parents and nothing against them they just are set in their ways Mm mm-hmm we know a lot of people their age who are set in their ways. Like when we were raised, kind of. Yeah. Kids are meant to be seen, mm-hmm. not heard. You know what I mean? Yeah. I definitely do. Because right. they don't want to hear what we have to say because they are s- just. Well, I I know the, the terminology, the, the term that you're going for is children, kids are better seen and not heard and yeah. that's the fucking truth it is. half the time i'm not gonna sit here and act like that ain't the damn truth yeah you hear half the shit that little man says he don't need to be <laughs> fucking talking yeah. the fuck are you talking about you know what i'm saying like it's not him it's every child because they're fucking weird you know what i mean kids let's put that this ain't something we wrote Kids are fucking weird. <laughs> All right? They're fucking weird. <laughs> they do silly shit. They do. Like, shit that is like, as an adult, if you did it, someone would f- probably physically attack you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I was, if someone was eating a bag of chips, and they were licking their fucking fingers, and then they stick their damn oh. <laughs> hand, and yeah, that's a big pet peeve of mine. <laughs> stick your fucking hand back in the goddamn bag of chips. That's your chips. If you yeah. try to offer me that as a grown man, I'm going to be like, you better be fucking joking because I just seen what you did. Like, is this real? Do you think that I want your wet flavored chips? And I, I will fuck you I up. Do not. <laughs> it's just disgusting, man. Yeah, but that's a little kid shit. Yeah. Now, kids just are weird. They do weird shit. Kids are weird. Kids are very weird. And that's why you're supposed to be acting more mature when you're an adult. But then we have to have these conversations. Mainly it's because people just don't heal from their past trauma. Yeah. So it like bleeds out on everyone they come in contact with. And all of us have been guilty for it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's not like no one's ever done it. Mm -hmm. You know, some people really haven't. They have, you know, they haven't, you know, they don't have. 
I don't know how to really explain it. Yeah. But mo- like some people really don't do that to other people, but a lot of people do. Yeah. You know? So well, a lot of it's a subconscious thing. Yeah. I think you, is what, you know, like subconsciously you, you don't understand yeah. certain things. And I also think that not everybody's affected by certain things. Like uh, you could be like, let's say, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to put it out there as a good example. My mom is terrible with money, yeah. was terrible, whatever. Like back in the day, she was, you know, good enough with it or whatever, but. Uh, spending like a burning a hole in your pocket and i think that's a lot of people until they have to get out in the fucking real world and you either got to be like a keep doing that and you're going to be struggling like a motherfucker you know what i mean yeah or b change your fucking ways you know like with me someone basically had to give me a uh a dose of reality and be like look dude because I was like, hey, I'm going to move into this house. And they were like, hey, you ain't going to move into this house. You ain't even able to pay for such and such. How are you going to fucking move into the house? And it just gave me perspective. And it made me think about how my mom is. And just, you know, just all kinds of shit. And it'd be like, oh, man. And I'm not blaming her. I just think it's one of those things as an example. Some people see an example and subconsciously, like, do the same shit. And some people see it and they're just like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I got to make a change, you know? Which is true. Yeah. They should, and not just the schools, but even your parents should teach you more to deal with that type of shit. Yeah. Like how to manage your money more. Like if you do, like I worked when I was 14. Mm -hmm. If my my mom just like had me put my money in my bank and wouldn't let me spend it unless I really needed something. You know? Yeah, for sure. So uh, instead of doing that, you're fine. Instead of doing that, she should have been like, okay. So you have, I didn't have any bills, but she should have given me something to where I would have had to pay for it. At least one thing. Yeah. You know, I don't think I ever had to pay for my cell phone. I think she, my like stepdad had like a family plan with Rumpke or whatever. So I don't think mm-hmm. I ever really had to pay for that, but I don't think I ever really had to pay any bills when I was still at home. Yeah. So you didn't have that. I think I did yeah. once I was like 18, like insurance and yeah. shit like that. But right. not until I was like 18. Mm-hmm. That shit, I should have been learning that when I was like 14, 15, right. you know? Well, fortunately for me, in my case, I actually had an economics class in high school. And, well, I'd say fortunately, but fortunately for everyone who continued to go to high school, I, I graduated. I got a diploma. Mm-hmm. You know what Me I mean? Too. But, like, <clears throat> I was skipping school all the fucking time. And if I wasn't completely not there, I'd be either late or I would leave early. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I would miss that class a lot. But it was an amazing thing that they offered that. Yeah. I took an you economics know? class, too. Well, yeah. But still, to me, it doesn't... I mean, it prepares you, but it doesn't really prepare you for, like, you got your rent. You have electric. It doesn't really prepare you. Like if you only make f- four or five hundred dollars and yeah. your rent is five hundred dollars, then you gotta have food. You gotta have grocery or food and groceries are the same thing. But you gotta have a phone this day and age. You gotta have a car. You gotta have insurance. Well, you I'm gonna pay I'm gonna tell you what insurance. that is. I'm gonna tell you what class that is. It's called math. And I'm yes. not hating on it. I'm <clears throat> just being real with you. That's yeah. called math. Yeah, it is math. So if you uh have to have a five hundred dollar ho- uh fucking hotel a uh, fucking apartment, and you make this amount of money, you either need to find a side hustle, a cheaper apartment, or get another fucking job. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. That's called math. You know. I think as a parent, I'm gonna have my son like start taking money out for bills. Yeah, and just show him like look this is how much money you have yeah and this is how much money you have to like live on yeah 
and not give him anything else. I you think know that's what a I good mean? idea. I wish uh, I would have known that when I was a kid. I wish that's I would have saying. If you learn younger, yeah. you would be you would be practicing and getting yourself ready. Yeah. I feel like I didn't do that shit until I was 18, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Right. No, I, I feel like you. if I would have been preparing when I was like 13, 14, when I got in middle school, when mm -hmm. I started working. Yeah. yeah. It yeah, worked out. And nothing against my parents or anything. Of course not. It's not their responsibility to make you. And that's the thing is to make it click inside of you mm -hmm. that certain things need to be a certain way. You can't. You have to save money. Yeah. You yeah. Well, it's just you have money. to realize it yourself because people can tell you all day. But unless you put it into practice. Yeah. You're going to have to learn the hard way. Hands on. Got to be on that shit. Exactly. Exactly. You got a good point. I mean, I don't know. I was very thankful for the fact that uh, Princeton High School, yay, yay, the high school I attended actually offered that. Yeah. And they did the check balancing and shit like that. So See, I, I did the cool. check balancing stuff too. But it's not you getting a certain amount of money, right? paying your bills, mm -hmm. and then living off of what you have left. Well, you I, know? I agree. And I think that's a good idea that you're going to do that. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it's it's a part about being a kid and, you know, times change. And I think the earlier yeah, the earlier that you practice these things, the better. But, you know, when I was a kid, I was a kid, even when I was making money at fucking the golden arches, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I was I was spending it, but I, I had a fucking job, you know, it was just I was spending it. I didn't save a fucking dime. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's just, you know, part of being about being a kid. But I think I could have, I wish I would have redone it just the way I uh, managed my money a little bit better. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I agree with that. I do a little bit better now, but it's still a struggle. Yeah. I hear that. Trying to get everything in line, investing it the right way. Mm hmm There's so many ways, so many things you could do with your money. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Credit. Speaking of money, why don't we uh, talk about something over here real quick? Uh, segue real quick here. Why don't you, uh, Melody Kay's lovely voice is going to read what's going on, especially for the listeners <laughs> on the Spotify's and the Apple Podcasts and whatnot. Oh, it's on Apple too. Now? Yeah, and basically it's on a lot of things, but I don't know everywhere, you know. But it's on YouTube where you can actually see us and you can see the article. I got it on the screen. But for the people who are not watching, you don't get to see our really cool hats. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you like our hats? I sold these from my parents. Right. <laughs> I was like, I need these. Monkey, get down. The cat is trying to scale the wall <laughs> for the listeners. Anyway, speaking of money, why don't you, uh, why don't you read this wow. headline here? Woman gets back one million dollar lottery ticket she accidentally tossed. Mm. Accidentally tossed. I was gonna say, how do you accidentally toss a one million dollar lottery ticket? Well, she was like, "Oh, that ain't it." Yeah, right. <laughs> Through that shit, like I didn't. Just, this should not. This did not just happen. It says, "I was in a hurry on lunch break and just scratched it real quick and looked at it." And it didn't look like a winner, so I handed it over to them to throw away. Wow. Man. And then they gave it back to her, I guess. I, I <clears throat> guess so. That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. Thanks to the kindness and honesty of the owners of the store where she bought it. Okay, so they did. Dope. $30 diamond million scratch-off ticket. That's what she bought to get the million dollars was a $30 diamond millions. Man, we used to know someone we was pretty close with who would spend $20 on one ticket at a time and totally, you know, and, you know, and I'm not knocking lottery. You do what you do. I don't buy it. I know. I know I have friends who do. I know Melody K every once in a while, very once in a while. I have been like, buying them recently. But, you know, it, it <laughs> $30 a pop. Yeah, but imagine if you got if you if you got like spent thirty million dollars and made a million, like jeez. But that's a come up. Hitting the lottery is like one in a million, right? 
Yeah, that's good shit. You know, I would like it if even I won like 20 grand off of a ticket. Fuck 10 grand. One grand. You yeah. know what I mean? I would be happy yeah. with that. Two, I've won How, what's the highest? Two, yeah. $100 off of a lottery ticket. Not 200 It was 100 I think the highest I ever got was like 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. See, I've yeah. gotten 100 But it was at like a store on the back skirts of like Miami type or Miamisburg type shit. Right. Which is like out in Dayton. <laughs> Hell yeah. And they say like you have a better chance of winning at the not so popping cities yeah if that i don't know i mean i mean i kind of get it that would kind of make true sense it is May, maybe i don't know i'm trying to think because let's say in la there's got to be a lot of traffic a lot mm. of fucking people ever new york same thing texas even fuck yeah hella people yeah florida fuck it hella people so with that many fucking people i feel like maybe your chances are better only because if you go to, let's say, an outskirts place, right? Mm-hmm. Who knows how many people's actually been there? So you, you could buy, like, a whole roll. Well, you, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Like I said, I'm not into it. I'm not deep into it. But, you know, I think there's different ways you can invest your money oh, to yeah. get a fucking comeback. That's my main thing. There's ways to do it. Yeah. So, not knocking you. Play your games. I play my video games. So I can't hate, and that's on twitch.com, I mean, twitch.tv backslash Mr. No Fun. So check that out. Hey, check dig, check dig. Twitch.com. <clears throat> Mr. No Fun. Yeah. And also, uh, what, what, what did you have done recently? When were you going to put something up or whatever? What's going on? What, the lyric video? Yeah. Yeah, we have a lyric video coming out for Laughing At You. <clears throat> Which is Below Dirt featuring Melody K. It is on the full Arsenal album. And then we, um, I also have a lyric video coming out for Hashtag Adult Life as well. And that's going to be that's on her dope. YouTube page, Melody K on YouTube. Yep. Yes, so make sir. sure you check that shit out. Yes. Um, and then I'll have some music out soon. Boom. As well. <laughs> Boom back. It's coming. There's music on the way as well. Also. But yeah, I uh, I don't know if we ran through our little list, but I got other shits that was random and wacky. There's so. one thing. What we got? One more thing on that let's list. Get, what's, what is it? People being able to take criticism. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. For example, I used to not like... I don't know how to describe it. You gotta be you gotta be humble and real about this shit. Like I didn't used to like... I First off, let me just put it out there as plain as day. I wasn't really great at taking criticism years ago. Mm-hmm. Put it out. Put it like that. Now, there's different ways that people react. You can either be a dick. You can, like, cuss and lash out. Yeah. Or you can um, <laughs> you can go silent and, you know what I mean, be, like, you know, standoffish with people. Yeah. You can just not fuck with people at all. But, you know, mine was just, like, I guess kind of being, like, more so silent about things like fuck well i'm just fucking trying bitch ass motherfuckers you know what i'm saying but it is what it is you know now it's like the older i get even years ago but the older i get now it's like you you gotta realize that uh everyone has a fucking opinion everyone and the more the, the older you get and the more mature you get i feel like you gotta realize that uh you know you just you're just a person like everyone else and you got to be able to take criticism, whether it's in your employment, at your job. Anywhere. Whether it's fucking making music, especially if it's making music. If yeah. you're putting yourself out there in front of everyone, expect someone to criticize you. You know what I mean? You just got to expect it, you know? Yeah. I wasn't always able to take criticism either, you know? Yeah. And, the like, the older you get, the more you're doing it. You just have to, like... You're not going to be perfect. Mm -mm. And criticism isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just what you need to work on to become better constructive criticism. Yeah. And what you need to work on to become the best version of you of yourself. That is not a bad thing. If you're lacking in something, why would you not want to know so that you can make it better? Yeah. I remember, in fact. Back in the days of uh, MySpace, 
back when I very, very first started rapping. I had very whack songs. <laughs> it was like one. And I put it out there. On the interwebs. For everyone to hear. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Like, not hating on it, but like, what I was thinking in my reaction. Because someone messaged me, and they were like, hey. And I might have even, here's the thing. I'm just going to say, I might have even sent it to this person. <laughs> Regardless. I didn't know who they were. So maybe I didn't know. I don't care. Dude sent back saying, hey, something along the lines of, it's not really supposed to sound like this. It's supposed to sound like this. You know what I mean? And he sent me a, a song of his. And I thought he was just basically being a hater. This is my first time making a fucking song, right? Oh, God. And I was just like, fuck you. And this is how I was as a kid. Dude, I, I was. I, I was a, remember you. Like, I was that. a kid, and I was just like, man, fuck you. And the dude was like, the dude was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, like, and I could have so much expression in fucking text. It was cr so crazy. But he was like, oh, well, <laughs> well, then, fuck you. He said, I was trying to give you constructive criticism, man. I was trying to help you out because of the sound and the quality. And uh, he was like, but, but yeah, but then he was like, but fuck you. It sounds like shit. And I was like, oh, man. And I even messaged yeah. back. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And he was like, no, fuck you. I was like, oh, oh okay. shit. It's over after that. But hey, it's what happens, man. You got to learn how to, you can't put yourself out there. And then expect no one to say certain shit. You know what I mean? And that was constructive criticism. I mean, like I said, he wasn't being mean. No, not at all. I was just being a uh He was genuinely guy. trying to help you. Exactly. Constructive yeah. criticism is helpful. It is supposed to help you. No, like there is a difference. Like people are there's a difference between people hating like, well. Like, if the song is good yeah. and somebody's hating and it's like, dude, what the fuck is your problem, right. bro? That's, like, being mean and, like, just uh, hateful. Let's say you have 100 views, right, mm -hmm. on YouTube, for example, and you have 99 thumbs up and you have one thumbs down. Do you think that person's just being a hater? Because, I mean, <laughs> when it comes to, like, statistics. That's that type statistics, shit. That's that like, type shit. <laughs> like, like, think about it. Like, let's be real. If I have exactly 100 views and exactly 99 thumbs up, but one thumbs down, more than likely, that's just a fucking hater. Even if you don't have the 99 likes and you have even fucking 15 likes and one thumbs down, it's like yeah. that person's still Yeah, that's, still uh, that seems like someone that doesn't like you, maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, And you'll have that. You know. You'll have them. You'll have them of videos. Of course. <laughs> of course, because people are either mad that you're doing it and they're not. Or people just really don't like you. They don't yeah. fuck with you. You left a bad taste in their, in their mouth. And that was another thing about criticism. It's like trolling. I was thinking about that today. Like, I see a lot of shit online. Um, and it's people just trolling and people just hating. And it's like, is that really the, what you want to leave behind? Is that really what you want people to remember you? <laughs> of? I guess so. You know, is like you saying that type shit. Right. Like, that negative-ass shit just makes no sense to me. I, I don't know either. I mean, it's some, you'll meet in life certain people who are just known to be nasty people, if yeah. you know what I mean. Like, nasty. people will warn you about these people even, like, and you'll be like, damn. And you'll stay away. And it's it's like, some of the times, some people are just fucking nasty, man. Some people just fucking hate the world. And not nasty like dirty. Nasty no. like there are some nasty people like dirty, but you yeah, need to go pray. Bro. Attitude wise, yeah. <laughs> like people who act like the world fucking owes them anything. Don't I'm gonna tell you right now, on no one people. owes you shit. Those are different people. Like the people who are like have entitlement issues are different from the people who are just nasty. Yeah, yeah. Or they could be both. They could be. Could be a combination of both. Be. You never know. Definitely could be. Yeah pretty fucking pretty shitty but you should be able to take criticism because it's not always a bad thing yeah it's really sometimes just helpful information like i went to school and criticism is one of the things you have to be able to fucking take yeah you know like you're not always going to be doing shit the right way mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not exactly. you're not i mean even if shit comes natural to you 
and it comes easy to you, that doesn't mean you're going to get everything right. Right. I agree. I agree. Can't be perfect, man. You can't be. Oh, let's yeah. see. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got something else you were saying to that? or No, I was just okay. saying, but yeah. All right, well, let's go on to the, uh, if you don't know what the fuck a cicada is. Oh, Lord. Here in Ohio, you just can't keep that hat on. I know, my here in Ohio, we have a shit ton. Well, we only got a few outside. But Are they not in every state? I don't think so. What? I don't, I don't know. Hey. I never knew that. I hey. thought they were everywhere. Hey, message us. Message us <laughs> at ice cream donut pod at Gmail. <laughs> And tell us that they're <laughs> everywhere. We're not looking it up. But, oh, I didn't put it on the screen. Let's put it on the screen. And the lovely voice of Melody Kay will sing out once again. You want me to sing? Mm-hmm. Weird news. Uh-oh. <laughs> Amphetamine, fungus, infects cicada. Yeah, it's either all in or stop the, the singing part. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to sing it. <laughs> I said, yeah, but you, you halfway was like, oh, I'm talking it. Hello. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, so amphetamine fungus, though. Like, what the fuck? Amphetamines? What the fuck? You want me to read this? To yep, you? just read a little bit. You ain't got to read the whole thing. Some members of Brood X, a brood of trillions of cicadas that emerges every 17 years to breed, they fucking. are reportedly becoming infected by a fungus that makes them lose the lower half of their bodies and become overly sexual. Oh boy. Could you imagine? No. Nah. <laughs> you like lose your you legs. Lose the but lower you... part of your body, but you're still like yeah. overly, like you can't even do nothing about it. Right, like you're exactly. You're just like, Oh, I need to. <laughs> exactly. I need to get this urge off, and then you can't even do shit because you ain't even got the lower half of your shit. These cicadas like, are in heat. What the fuck are they supposed to do? That's sad, though. Yeah, their butts are falling That's off. That's really sad. It's crazy. Their dicks are falling off too, right? I mean, but how? I, I mean, you don't know where a cicada dick is, buddy. Well, I would hope it's not near their face. You don't know. It could be in their fucking eyeballs. Or do you know? I don't. I guess we're going to have to look up cicadas mating to find C out. Cicadadick.com. <laughs> only cicadadick.com. Oh, my God. So, according to the NPR, a fungus called Massapora has infected a small number of the cicadas. The fungus produces an asphenamine. Amphetamine. As cathinone. Cathinone? That causes the insects to shed their lower abdomens. A white plug of fungus then replaces the lost body part. It looks as if the backside of the cicada is being replaced either by chalk or by, like, one of those nubby middle school erasers. <laughs> Why they put it like that? That's funny that she read. That's exactly how it's worded. <laughs> I know that the people who's listening to the audio can't see it, but that's exactly how it's worded. She didn't just say it like that. No. <laughs> like one of those nubby middle school erasers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Matt Ka Kaysen Kassen, Associate Professor of Forest Pathology and Mycology at West Virginia University, told NPR's All Things Considered. Oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah. What the fuck? Cicadas, go back up to that picture, please. Cicadas are so fucking weird. Yeah, right. Like, um, one of our friends were holding one. Well, she wasn't holding one. She had her finger like this, and then the cicada was sitting up like this, and I just cracked up. <laughs> it was Monica. Yeah. I just cracked up because I'm like, this had me cracking up because it's like literally just chilling, and that's what they do. They just chill. They don't do shit. I think they're I don't one even of the think most. They bite you. They're one of the most interesting bugs. To I don't me. see. They are interesting, but they're fucking creepy to me. I don't know. I just remember when I was 14. Mm -hmm. And those motherfuckers were flying all in my hair. Like now they seem chill. Yeah. I don't know if it's a different city. That was like Westchester. Hamilton. If you're by a whole lot of trees, it's probably going to be worse. Well, they were flying all in my hair. They left a bad taste in my mouth. So well, now speaking like, of. Fuck y'all. You're all over my house now. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, you can say <laughs> whatever. Shells. If being a. Being a female with hair that you don't want at the time, whatever, you know what I mean? Not hating, do what you do. But I don't know many fucking bugs 
that burrow underground for 17 fucking years and then pop up, break out of their exoskeleton, and then just go on a fuck fest for a I while. Know. That's pretty fucking interesting. That's what I'm saying. they're overly sexual because right. of this fucking fungus. Like, but the how picture, did they get the fungus? Don't know. But the picture that's shown, you know, for the people who are watching... You know what I mean? There is no, there, and people who are listening, there's no, we don't see the nastiness. And I've seen a few outside, and so is Melody K, and they don't have white fungi butts. No, so but that's a good thing for them. When they come out of their skin, they're white. Yeah, but then they quickly turn into this color. Yeah, and so then, they're only and white then, for like a millisecond. No, not a millisecond, a little longer than that, but their butts continue to look chalky and white if they have this disease is what they're saying Uh, so they they come out yeah here's a here's a fucking lesson for people (laughs) when they come out of their little creepy looking exoskeleton things they're completely white i'm pretty sure it's called molting and they chill for a second just like a moth or a butterfly would until they're fucking good and then they fly off now unlike them a moth and a butterfly they they're completely fucking white and then they get their color and then they chill and i mean and then they fly out the fly the fuck off and go and start fucking can i tell you what i seen today i was sitting outside of course tell tell all of us because people are also listening i was enjoying nature i wasn't on my phone good and i seen the cicada in the yard i was like oh he's just big chilling big chilling all of a sudden and this is how life does you this is how life does you chilling everything's going good you know and then all of a sudden this big ass bird comes down picks you up in his mouth tries to eat you spits you out and then the bird picks you back up after it spits you out tries to eat you again and then it spits you out and it flies the fuck away that's pretty fucked up yeah and it's like damn i was sitting to myself i was sitting there and i was like thinking to myself like damn that's really how life really be, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you will literally just be chilling. Everything's going good. And then, bam, like, bam. shitty ass shit happens. Right. And then it just stops. Yep. And finally, you're like, okay, well, ain't nothing bad else going to happen. So Did you I say this was on. a cicada? <laughs> it was a poor little cicada, yeah. Yeah. In the okay. yard. And then this bird just came down and tried to eat it two different times. The first time, he spit it out. Second time, he picked it back up and then spit it out again. And then he just flew away. Like, he didn't even fly away with the fucking cicada. Like, come on now. Like, what the fuck was the point in that? Yeah, dude. That was life. <laughs> I was just life testing him. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. I happens. Yeah. That's why you got to get off your phone and enjoy what's going on around you. Because right. if I was on my phone, I would have never realized that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it was just like, damn. We got a little bunny in the backyard. Mm, we do. Nature. We nature do. Like I wonder if it has babies somewhere because it Is, keeps I coming probably. back every day. I feel like I should leave food out for it. Well, I'll tell you, if it like finds another bunny, it, it will definitely have some fucking babies because they fuck like crazy. Wanna... <laughs> they fuck like Jack Rabbit. No, they, yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're rabbits. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but they're the opposite of the fucking cicada. Cicadas wait 17 years to go out and have a little orgy or whatever, a little fuck fest. And then rabbits are like, all the time, anytime, I don't care. We will multiply. This cage will be completely filled. We'll suffocate. Speaking of multiplying, do you know what they're trying to like? And we probably shouldn't put our opinions out there, but they are trying to make polyamorous relationships more of a thing. I don't know what that is. Po- Why don't isn't you explain? polyamorous, isn't that... I think that's the right word for it. When you add more people to your relationship oh well here's what i think about it here's my opinion i don't fucking care (laughs) you can do whatever the fuck you want if it's legal right yeah shit people do shit that's illegal all the time i don't give a fuck well i'm just saying i'm not sharing my damn man well i don't yeah well we don't have to do that but what i'm saying is if i met some dude and he was like yeah this is my wife and my other wife i wouldn't be like oh my god that's so crazy i'd be like so okay cool not at all i'm just making it to where no, I'm just We're asking. We're not doing yeah, that. I, I, I was just <laughs> I'm not seeing sharing. what you're going with there. Cause... I am not sharing. And look, back to where people should be able to take criticism or people should be able to be open-minded and shit. I don't look down upon anybody for the way that they believe. You want to be lesbian? Cool. 
I don't look down upon you for that. You want to be gay? I don't look down upon you for that. You know, if you want to transgender, cool. I want you to be happy. But if I don't agree and I think a certain way too, I think that should be okay. I don't want the polyamorous relationship. You know what I mean? I just want one guy. But I feel like if you go and you talk to people about that and you say like, well, I don't want to, I want to continue doing this the way that I've been feeling, people get upset about that. Here's the deal. And it's okay. We're having a conversation here. You can. But you also, that's your opinion. I know. But back to the whole people get offended Who by cares? your opinion. You can't really have an opinion. Yes, you can. It's and just age. you're taking... Um, Except every look people get offended by it or people don't like the way you think every action has a fucking reaction yeah we learned that in fucking second grade yes, or something so yes, learn that do. and know that everybody I, listening me personally i know that but there are people that you can't talk to about how you believe yeah because they don't agree with it but i'm trying to say is i i you live however you want to live right but i should be able to live however i want to live too you without be- i know i can mm. but there's still if you there's still people who get offended by the way i am or like i'm not transgender i'm not gay i'm not you know what i mean like i don't knock people for being that way so i don't feel like people who aren't that way should get knocked for it Okay, yeah, I was about to say, if you get knocked from, by it or whatever, right? Not saying recently, but no, it I'm has just saying in general, in, in general. Yeah, yeah. Fuck those people. Of course. That's it. Of course. I, yeah. but not everyone's like me and you. Not yeah. everyone can get over it just like that. You know, not everyone yeah. can be like, well, I'm going to think the way I want to think, and then you think. Well, that's me. their problem, though. I know. You know? And I that's, just that's why. I, no, and I get it. And that's why we're saying this shit. But that's their problem, and that's their prerogative, and live your fucking life. I don't I care. I think everyone should be able to live their life, and you shouldn't judge people for the can. way that they live. And you can, but here's what it is in real life, if you have that issue, everybody. Walk the fuck away. You don't have to fucking deal with those people. You do If not. it's on social media and, you know, bring it back, you're allowed to have an opinion, but other people do too. Mm-hmm. And and Facebook, Instagram, whatever is a platform. For and if everyone. you decide, to, just like being a rapper or whatever, if you decide to put something out there that is your opinion, expect criticism expect like we also Expect it to come about. back and just know yourself enough to where you can handle that type of shit, basically. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep, and we all need criticism. Like you said, if you don't have criticism, you're a fucking yes man. All your 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 people are yes men, I should say. Mm-hmm. And you should, like, you don't want to where everyone's fucking bagging on you, obviously. No one wants that, because if that's, if that's the case, you also have shitty people around you. You just get the fuck away from those people. Yes. But... If everyone is always just saying everything you say is right and every move you make is right and all that, just take a step back, reevaluate, make sure these people are in your corner for the right reasons and not for personal gain or anything Mm -hmm. like that, you know? Yeah. I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. And I think that's that's very real. And I think uh, we've covered everything that we were going to for the this week. Yes. You know what I mean? So, uh, I think we're going to sign off. What do you think? That's up to you. you I think, I think, no, I think, uh, I got, there's always news, you know, (laughs) we'll always have weird news on Wednesday or whatnot. Whenever we put this out, I think it's going to be Wednesdays. Fuck it. Well, I like your hat. Well, thank you. I like your hat. Aww. For the people who, uh, ain't seeing it, man, you also need to go to the Ice Cream Donut Podcast on YouTube. (laughs) And subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. Check it out. Or just check it out and watch. We do it every fucking week. So. Here's blabber. Yeah. Talk about random shit, really random. Exactly. And every once in a while, we'll eat a donut or some ice cream or we something. We do need to do that. Exactly. It's, Black it's, raspberry and chip ice cream. It's past time. It's past due. So, we're going to do that. We're wrapping it up. We're out. Bye. Bye. We're out of this beach. Are you mad because I started?